sample planning, sample planning. Um, because I'll touch on it a little bit. So me and um, Vice Chair Ransom went to the FIA yesterday and we reserved the space, so the space is reserved now. Um, I, I, was, I called Van Nichols this morning to order the, to get the food and stuff sorted out for the first event. Um, and he, he was too busy this morning to um, work to get a big um, event tonight. We'll call him again tomorrow and we'll get all that sorted out. So then we'll bring you the budget with all that and show you guys exactly what we got. You guys can tell me, you know, if you like it, you don't like it, whatever. Um, the rooms are all booked, so we have all the spaces booked. I have ordered breakfast for both days. So we'll have breakfast in this room um, on Friday, uh, Thursday, Saturday and Sunday. Um, and it'll be kind of like, it'll be a breakfast buffet, got the deluxe package, it's really good looking. And then we'll take, they can take their, they can eat in here a little bit, and they can take it back with them. You know, the happening room is where all the meetings will be happening. And then if there's any breakout sessions, I have a couple other rooms, like, blocked off for breakout sessions too. Um, we have the lobby as well, so we can do some stuff out there. Um, Saturday, we're going to have a sit-down lunch upstairs in the um, cafeteria area. We have that whole area booked off, and what they're going to do is they're going to actually use the stations, and they're going to come up with some cool, like, what, what kind of food do you guys want? Like, I, I, I want to make sure that it's something that we all think is good. I was thinking kind of something different, not just, like, burgers and fries and none of that. Like, maybe some type of, like, activity food sounds kind of cool. Um, so if you have any ideas, come talk to me or Vanessa about that. And then um, on, Saturday, on Sunday, we're just going to do like a really nice lunch, like box lunch for them to take with them if they need to. And we'll keep you guys up to date on whatever's left. Like she said, we're going to plan out everything. Like have, we'll have an agenda for you guys to look at for the day of, um, like hour by hour. And we're going to put together some nice packets. So we'll probably, probably have all that for you by next meeting. So if you guys have no more questions about that, um, if you have any questions, come talk to me or Renessa, or if you want to help at all. Moving on to X, or is there any more ad hoc reports? We're good, okay. Um, moving on to X of the show reports. Is there anything, any news from GC yet? Okay. Um, Stu, do you have anything? Any reports on that? The only thing I really have, Wednesday is the debate. It will be 6 o'clock in Clint's Cafe. From noon till 3, we will have pizza and handing out t-shirts. Uh, we would like to get input on what type of questions you want to ask of the candidates for the debate. So come see us. It will also be in Clint's. Um, other than that, it's not a whole lot. Anyone have any questions about the election? Maybe I just missed your Did you just say 6 p.m. and then say noon to 3? Noon to 3, we're going to have pizza and handing out t shirts, getting questions for the debate, which will be held at 6 o'clock. We're going to try to have music and make it more fun, kind of mingle. That'll also be more kind of a, a meet the candidates <laughs> where you can get more personable, they can shake hands, kiss babies, <laughs> do all that campaigning. Um, something we were supposed to add to the agenda, but we, heard, uh, we didn't remember until just this minute. We were going to add in independent senator reports, like project reports. So if any of you guys are working on projects that you want to talk about, um, you can, this would be your time to do so. So um, I'd like to entertain a motion to amend the agenda and add that in. I would like to amend the agenda to add under the way of business. It would, be, it would be right after um, ex officio oh, reports. So. Under ex officio reports to add um, individual Senate reports? The, um, independent, independent, independent Senate Senator Project. Independent Senator Project reports. Okay, we have a second? Second. Okay, motion has properly been made and seconded. Is there any discussion? Mm -hmm. Seeing none, all in favor of adding independent Senator Baker. Independent Senator Project reports um, as item, yeah, item 6, 11. All right, motion passes. Um, now we move into independent 
senator project before. <laughs> um, is Senator Vanessa. Okay, if you, as you guys remember, right before spring break, we were brought the issue of the ITS lab in the riverfront. And so I went to find Mark Turnhaw, who I had a hard time finding, but I had to him one day, and he said he's going to be concerned himself. And I sent him an email, and it took a really long time to get a response. But I finally got back from him, a word back from him. And they're working on that issue. He said that this is the first time they've ever had a 24-hour lab. And I was invited to have a meeting with them so that they can work out the just and come back and let us know what the, the things they're doing to work on. But also, hopefully that meeting will get set up this week. And you know, I'll let you guys know what he says. And I think it's supposed to be somebody else's meeting as well, so I'll just let you guys know what happened. Anyone else? Well, I'm um, working on three different projects. The first one is the lighting. Um, with that, Joel Ellis was off for about three weeks because he was um, sick or had a surgery or something. Um, he ended up emailing me at the beginning of last week. I had to go back and fax him uh, where the lighting is, and he should be getting back a hold of me as to the cost and which ones, which blue lights and lighting we're going to add on campus. Um, as for the 101 things, um, I'm working with Jesse, and we should have the 101 things up running on the website hopefully by the beginning of next week. And then from there, we'll continue working on getting a physical resource center. And then the third project is the safety, um, and I'm actually working with Director Ray Hall and Bill Smith on um, who wants me to become the liaison between the students and public safety, and we're working on getting workshops on that. Thanks, so it's been a while. Um, uh, we finally have all the green lights through Bill Webb for funding, through uh, the elevator company, through facilities, through the walk and bike committee. So we're ready to rock and roll. Um, we just have to get, I'm working with uh, Vice President Pappen. He's uh, helping facilitate to get uh, some other people on board to get some other, uh, uh, some different, uh, some different uh, samples of what we're gonna put up. But uh, our meeting is also April 6th. If anyone's interested, uh, that will be uh, Superior. The second floor you said, April 6th at one o'clock. And uh, so hopefully we'll have uh, a decision we'll be made, we'll do a vote. And, uh, be ready to get a post up for uh, the end of the spring. So. Anyone else? Yep. I just wanted to take a moment. The uh, ACM team is going to NMU with the team that gets 20 other institutions up there, including Ann Arbor, as well as I think uh, Waterloo from Ontario. They're extremely tough. Uh, so just wanted to let you know that. Back, right. Okay, moving on to old business. I think I'm done. Okay, so moving on to new business. Well, constitutional recognition. Thank you, Senate, for your official Senate meeting every Monday to approve the clubs and the constitution for the name change. Um, the meeting that you guys wanted me to have with the club president of the UIA and the finance club happened yesterday. Uh, I asked the president of the finance club to revamp the constitution and specify what they want to do or what they're going to do. So as soon as I get that, I'll go through staff board and then to you guys and then for me to it for the approval or denial, whichever you guys choose. So, yeah. Yeah, um, is there any more items to be added under new business? So, so, to have a recommendation, it was a recommendation made yesterday for what was to say. It wasn't a meeting with staff board, it was a meeting with myself, Jesse, and Ryan, and the students. I kept staff board out of it, that way I can just report back to them. Motion to adjourn. Is that a motion to adjourn? Hang on. Do you, did you guys, were you guys here probably for anything? Or just for, for running, is that what you guys looking for? Yeah. Okay. I was checking because there's a lot of people back there. <laughs> um, okay, so there's been a motion to adjourn. Is there a second? Second. 